Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is October 7th, 2021. Hope everyone is doing wonderful today. Uh, I want to share this piece of information with you. And we have been watching this detail for quite some time, trying to see if this could be connected to the time of our escape. And this does not have to do with the main headline here on Drudge Report, but I want to focus on this here, uh, this red headline right here at the top. Pfizer shots for kids, for kids ages 5 to 11. Jabs could begin in weeks, okay? So this is the this is the second headline on Drudge Report here. Top headline is American Airlines now says all workers must be fully vaccinated. Second headline is Pfizer shots for kids ages 5 to 11. Second headline of the day on Drudge Report, jabs could begin in weeks. Okay, this takes us to this article here by the Associated Press. Okay, and I want to take a look at this because there's some interesting details here. Uh, that I want to share with you. Now, before we look at this, um, let me show you this piece of information. When can children get the COVID-19 vaccine? Answer, vaccines are best hope to end the COVID-19 pandemic. <coughs> Three vaccines currently are available for adults, and one also can be given to children ages 12 and older. Okay, vaccines for children age five and up may be authorized soon. Okay, so this is what they are looking to do is get this age group in the mix. Uh, for right now, only children 12 and older are being vaccinated through the FDA authorized vaccinations. Okay, and so is this connected? Is the, is the Jabbing of the children connected to the timing of our escape. This is what we have been watching for. Now I want to show you what they're talking about, what time frame they are looking at with this. Okay, so let's read this together. Pfizer asks the U.S. to allow COVID shots for kids ages 5 to 11. Pfizer asked the U.S. government Thursday to allow use of its COVID-19 vaccine in children ages 5 to 11 in what would be a major expansion that could combat an alarming rise in serious infections in youngsters and help schools stay open. Okay. If regulators give the go-ahead, reduced dose kids shots could begin within a matter of weeks for the roughly 28 million children in that group. Many parents and pediatricians are clamoring for protection for youngsters under 12. <laughs> the current age cutoff for COVID-19 vaccinations in the U.S. Okay. Now here's the detail I wanted to show you. The Food and Drug Administration will have to decide whether the shots are safe and effective in elementary school age children an independent expert panel will publicly debate the evidence on October 26th. Okay. Pfizer and its German partner, BioNTech, said their research shows the younger kids should get one-third of the dose now given to everyone else. After their second dose, the 5 to 11-year-olds developed virus-fighting antibody levels just as strong as those that teens and young adults get from regular strength shots. Okay. Well, kids are at okay, and we could you could read on if you want to read the full article. Okay, it's all a bunch of the protocols they're putting into place to get the vaccinations for kids from ages five to eleven. Okay, and the date here in question is October twenty-sixth. They're going to begin debating this publicly on October 26th. An independent expert panel will publicly debate the evidence on October 26th. Okay. Drudge Report says Pfizer shots for kids, kids ages 5 to 11. Jabs could begin within weeks. And then the article shows us that the debate on this 
will be brought forth on October 26th. So if they have their answer by October 26th and they debate it, then they could begin at that time the ch the child vaccinations. Okay. So is this connected to our escape? And this is what we have been sharing with you. Okay. When you see the abomination of desolation, according to the prophet Daniel, you have 70 weeks determined. You have the 70 years of Israel, which is May 14th, 2018. And you have the re reaffirming of the covenant when Donald Trump put the, uh, the, uh, the embassy moved the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and declared Jerusalem the eternal capital of Israel on May 14, 2018. So you have 70 years of Israel, and then you have 3.5 biblical years, exactly 1260 days to the day of the flood on October 24, 2021. Chess fan 17, the day the flood begins. Okay, this is what we're watching. So our, our warnings are going out for October 24th. Okay. Is this the timing just before they get to the children? When they are coming for the children, then we are going to see our escape. Okay. So all I can do, guys, is share with you the news and the signs and connect it all to what we're watching, okay? Now, if there was no validity in anything we're talking about, then why are we getting all the signs for mid-October? They're talking about martial law by mid-October. They're talking about mandatory vaccinations by mid-October. They're talking about now jabbing the children by October 26th. So God is not going to let them get to the children. So just before they come for the children, it's our escape on the day of the flood. October 24th. Okay, so I'm just linking with you all of the signs, okay? And uh, I pray you guys are blessed as we watch for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am on my post as always, bringing you the news and the biblical headlines, how to understand the times that we are living in. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.